Hello everybody, this is Absurder99 and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. Kerbal Space Program has a actually a very, very special place in my heart. This was my first Steam game. This is actually the reason why I got Steam in the first place was to play Kerbal Space Program. Now, my parents, they work at NASA and that means I have always had a strong connection with space and I love space. It's my favorite thing ever. Not my, not my sister's favorite thing, but my favorite thing, and, um, you know, I just love, I, I love NASA, I love everything to do with space, space exploration is my favorite thing. Now, I don't play Kerbal Space Program that much, but I do play it a lot, and I do stuff like create my own custom flags, and I made, I made my own lore behind my little space organization I call Pioneer Aerospace, I don't know if the name's already taken by somebody, I don't know, but it's right there. Um, I named this, I built this rocket, I have a fast forward of it, as you just saw, and this is the MUN variant of the, of what this capsule I like to call the Poodle, because it has that little long, long, long snout in the front, a little thin long snout at the front, and then it has uh, those four little stubby legs, but it has communications, lower panels, and it's meant to like go for like long missions. Um, if it runs out of fuel, which I haven't really thought about yet, uh, probably want to figure out what to do if I'm going to do that, um, but yeah, if it runs out of fuel, then I'm going to have to send a rescue mission, oh well, too bad, so sad, um, yeah, I may have gone overkill with the rocket, I mean, it is, um, 13,000 meters per second, yeah, it's a lot, it's a lot of meters, there's a lot of delta V right there. Yeah, I actually have a cheat sheet with me since I don't want to. Since I don't like math, uh, I just have a cheat sheet with me. Uh, you can't see it. I'll probably pull it up on screen. Um, I already saved it, so let's launch this thing. I have my three Kerbals: Valdas, Derelok, and Stalbret Kerman on the uh, ship right now. And any, any of my viewers that like Kerbal Space Program, congratulations to you. Um. Right now, as of now, as I'm recording this, I only have 20 subscribers, maybe less, because I'm I'm overdue for an upload. Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna be one of those YouTubers that barely ever uploads. So, um, I gotta make sure we probably shouldn't do that. Um, but basically, when you're launching your ships, if you play Kerbal Space Program, good for you. If you don't know this tactic, which I I hope you do, because basically, when you launch your ships, you want to go to the side a little bit to make sure that your ship gains enough. Uh, horizontal velocity to make it to orbit. I usually only do full blast um, fuel when I'm leaving uh, orbit. Unless you're trying to get somewhere very quickly and your window of opportunity is running off, running out, then you want to make sure that you're able to, um, you know, do a uh, do a uh, make sure you get there. That's when you do full blast. But usually for me, I just launch whenever I want. Get to orbit, go to the moon. Uh, honestly, if I fail, then if I fail this mission, I'm gonna have to reconstruct. You won't be seeing this video because, you know, I'm a nerd who obviously doesn't know how to play this game properly. I mean, if you, I'm not, I'm no Matt Lone. I'm no Matt Lone. I said that in my uh, one of my other videos. I am no Matt Lone at all because, you know. Um, that's just not who I am. I'm not. I'm not that good at the game. Now, I've always wanted to make an SSTO. That's one of the things I've always wanted to do. Like, legitimately, I've always wanted to make an SSTO. Probably should uh, decrease my. Um, probably should circularize. Oh crap! Don't wanna. It's, it's lagging. It's lagging. I don't know if it's lagging for you guys, but it's lagging for me. I want to make sure that I gain enough uh, orbital velocity to. Um, circularize around Kerbin. That's, that's the planet. It's not Earth, actually. If you don't know what this game is, you're not on Earth. You're actually on this fictional planet and this fictional system called Kerbin. Uh, called the Ker fictional system is called Kerbal. And um, and yes, it is based off of our solar system, yet, the, yet there are planets missing. So for instance, there's no Saturn or Uranus or Neptune. You just have um, Mars, Mercury, Venus, Earth, which is Kerbin. Um... Uh, and Jupiter, and then you have um, 
Pluto. So it is missing some planets, probably because of the, the game's, um, you know, the game's ability to handle the amount of planets that are in here. Are in here. Got to circularize quickly because I'm going to lose, I'm going to lose Delta V if I uh, don't circularize quick enough. So let's go to the Popeway Axis real quick. That's what this is, I think. Yeah, Popoyak. I don't know how. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Now, if I fail, you're probably not gonna be being seeing this video. Uh, probably not. I mean, this clip. Not this video. This clip. You'll be seeing the video. You just won't be seeing the clip. I want to redo this. Now, I'm just gonna have to wait for the Mun to get in a right encounter. Let's actually set the Mun as as our target real quick. Now it's it's weird because sometimes sometimes your uh, your da your missions can last s so long. Uh, it's weird because this game doesn't doesn't like really have like proper um, I wouldn't say physics. It has proper physics. It just doesn't really explain reason why Kerbals can live hundreds of days without really having any life support on the ship, and allies support structures on the ship. Mine encounter, mine escape. God. Yeah, I, I, this is my practice world because KSP2 is going to come out soon, and I actually have an idea for a new project um, about, cur about Kerbal Space Program. And, you know, it's going to be cool. But I've got to figure out how to do this. I'll, I'll be able to do that. I'll be able to do that. Okay, let's save my game. No, 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 no. Save game. Save game. And now what I need to do is I need to be able to um, activate thrust. I need to make that burn on that maneuver node right there. Because I have a lot of fuel, don't worry. And I forgot to pack RCS. I'm a moron. I should remember that. I just remembered, no RCS for me. I always forget to pack RCS on my ships. It's it's frustrating. It's really, really frustrating. Uh, I've got to be able to get this mod encounter, or else, um, you know, I won't be able to make it. I don't want to get a curb and escape. That works. Oh, I'm about to run out of liquid fuel. God, you probably won't be seeing this video. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Gotta lower down my thrust so I can save fuel. Turns out, no, I did not go overkill on uh, my rocket. My rocket's fuel count. I actually did under the amount that I needed. And if the cripples don't even make it home, what 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 am I gonna do if the cripples don't even make it home? Oh, uh, I'm gonna have to make a rescue mission. As I see. doesn't this doesn't add up man but um you know this game's super fun even if even if you don't do well at it it's super fun at, nonetheless i'm about to run out of fuel God. wait will i will i make it 
think I made it, boys. Let's save the game. Yeah, I'm going to the Mun. I forgot to say that. I'm going to the Mun for this, um... I think I, I think I forgot to say that. I'm not sure. I've got to decrease my speed. My sped. Let's go retrograde. Let's burn retrograde. Uh, I forget. I'm going faster. Actually, I'm already, I think my speed is already decreasing. I think my speed is already decreased. Cause I don't know man. Um Holy crap, this is happening so slowly. only have this uh, small sliver of fuel in this second stage and then it's out and I have to use these bottom four thrusters to um, prevent me from crashing into the planet's surface. That went by super quickly, okay. Let's pull my criminals to crash into the planet. Let's, ex let's extend the uh, landing legs. These rapier engines right here are super powerful. Um, just gotta make sure I don't hit the ground too hard. Or, or tumble. That that is a problem. I might tumble. I don't know why you can hear this these thrusters in space. This is weird because you can't because because there's no sound in space. Because remember it's a vacuum. There's no oxygen. There's no mo molecules for the sound to go through. It's weird. Well, when you have the oxygen in the cabin, you can speak. But like when you're in a vacuum, you can't speak, which is what space is. Um, I, I assume you guys are that smart. <laughs> I'm assuming you guys are that smart. I guess because of sound effects. Sound effects are cool. You know. The, you know the. You know the jet. You know the jazz when it comes to all this. Yep, I think we're about to make it, boys. We're about to make a touchdown on the moon. Ooh, we're looking at science thing. Too bad I don't have a scanner. Yeah, I've been to Duna before, and 
this is this is sandbox. I don't. I'm not good. I'm not good at career. I'm not that good at the game. But hopefully, KSV2 will have multiplayer, which will be really cool. Eagle has landed. The eagle has landed. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Woo. Yeah. Okay, let's have our um, scientist go out. Actually, let's let's extend our solar panels real quick. If you guys don't know, G G is the key that you need to. Um, Extend your landing legs. If you play KSV, that is. So let's extend our antenna. Even though we totally don't need to. Oh crap. What? Why am I going? Why am I climbing upside down now? Dead? <laughs> what the hell? There he is. Let's take a surface sample of these rocks. Oh crap. Ah, he is he's frowning. <laughs> he frowned on us. Come on, get up, get up, get up. Take a sample. No, we can't take a sample. That's sad. Kerbals are so quirky, and I love it. So let's, let's plant our flag over here. Pioneer Aerospace site name. First Mun Landing. That's what the noon is called. It's called the Mun. Flag test. We here now. Beat that Nat NASA. <laughs> beat that Nat. No, beat. No, what, what should I put that? Beat that. I'm not sure. We are here. We near. We here now, boys. We be. We be chillin'. Do. Uh, how do I spell that? We be chillin', do. Chilling too. Um, yeah, we did this. We did it. Uh, I'm just kidding. It's, it was me. I did this whole thing by myself. We be chilling too. We here now. We be chilling too. Let's take a surface sample. And now we gotta go back to the rocket and go back to Kerbin. I'll also take an EVA report. I don't know why it says you in the in, in the EVA reports. Like it's not I'm not I yes I'm controlling the Kerbal, but it's not me, right? Is it? <laughs> is it me? I it is me. Blah, blah, blah.
Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the recording here because I don't think I have enough fuel to make it home. And I think what I'm going to do is I might do an emergency mission where I bring them to a surface base. But that means I'm going to have to bring a rover and a surface base on here and, land, and hopefully land it near them. Or I could launch this thing back up into orbit. That probably could work. I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm just going to leave it here. It's been 20 minutes. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to bring a ship that actually is capable of returning to Kerbin. Or something. Oh, I have an idea. I actually have an excellent idea. I make a uh, sky crane. I make like this little mini sky crane thing that has kerbals on it, and then I can like it has RCS and stuff, and I can fly around the. I'm thinking I've made design it to fly around the entire surface of Kerbin, around the surface of Mun, around the around the entire uh, orbit of the Mun, and then I can bring I can bring the kerbals from here on there, all the way back to the place, and then I could use that to um, go to Kerbin. I can use I can use that stuff right there, right? I can use that, take them back to the ship, and then leave. Because I don't think I have enough fuel to make it back to Kerbin. Um, but yeah, see you in the next video, guys. I uh, hope you like. I hope you liked it. Smash that like button. Um, just, just subscribe, bro. Like, actually, as it turns out. A lot, <laughs> a lot of people who watch my videos aren't actually subscribed. So if you would, you could please subscribe. I'm, I'm kidding. I don't watch. I don't go to YouTube statistics. I just do videos for fun. But, um, yeah. If you would, please subscribe. Please share this with your friends. And seriously, if you think your friends are gonna like this video, show it to them. Show it to them. Show your. Show this to your friends. Um. But yeah, I'm going to be doing a project soon about Kerbal Space Program. It's a new project I've been working on. Hopefully I'll get it released by next video. Uh, but maybe not. I'm not sure. Bye.